you can't quite see what he can see, but he digs up enough to where he can see like at least the face of whoever it is that's buried there. And he says, holy shit. He's like, it wasn't Mr. Thompson at all. Whoever it is, they're still, they're still out here. They're still, they're still killing kids. And then he pulls out a sketchbook and begins sketching. You have a camera. You just proved you had a camera. Like, why aren't you taking a picture of this instead of sketching it? <laughs> I think he's like just caught up in, in an artistic, you know, an artistic warp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, and right? I, yeah so, like, I walk over to look at like what he's looking at and just sort of like lightly hit him on the shoulder. Just take a picture of this. <laughs> uh, he, he's, he's like, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. He puts the stuff yeah. away. He's like, kind of, he's fumbling around. Do you look at the body? Do you see who? Yeah, yeah. Is? I'll go look at the body and see. Um, who it's Ellen. Okay. Awesome. Who you just saw at school. Who I, right, who I just saw. Um, how, like, decayed is this body? Brand it, new, fresh? It does seem a little decayed, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Like, a little more decayed than it should be, for sure. But not so uh, much that you can't make out the features. This is Mr. Like, Thompson? I just, I, it's, it's that weird girl, Ellen. I just saw her in class, like, earlier today. I saw her today too. Like we've got to, we've got to tell we've got to tell that we got to tell that FBI guy. We got to tell somebody. This is they're still out there. They're still out yeah. there killing kids. He's like, look at her neck. Lean over and look look at her neck a little bit closer. There are two distinct like bite puncture marks on her neck. Jonah, you're gonna pick up on this. You're gonna pick <laughs> up on this like intense spike of emotion from Tony. You'll pick up on like he's generally scared, but also that he's with Serena. You're gonna pick up on all that, right? Um, okay. Just to do sort of emotional relay. How do you react? What do you do? In the car with Thomas right now. Right. Yeah, he's um, taking him. I ask him to turn down the forest road. He stops the car and he's like, you know this is a BMW, right? Well, I'm sure you can get another one wherever you got this one from. He's like, yeah, probably. And then he like, so he, he turns down the road <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and continues on. He's like, so where, where are we going? We're going to go fuck in the woods. Is that the plan? Uh, maybe, but I think there's something going on. So the emotion I'm getting from him is fear, basically, right? Yeah, fear. Fear and Serena. You're getting two emotions that he feels when he's with her and also when he's scared, commingled here. Maybe Serena's attacking him. Who knows? I think that Serena is up to no good. He's like, you remember Serena, right? He's like, oh, yeah. I know Serena. I've met her several times, actually, even before I enrolled in school good maybe you can help me deal with her she's been getting in my business and well i'm sure you know that can't have these distractions while we're trying to do our thing he looks at you and goes you know she's not alive right not alive no not alive she's a vampire right blood sucker total blood sucker creature of the night horrible undead who could even imagine that vampires would be real yeah, a lot of weird stuff in Mercy Falls. All right, so question, how do you know something's going on over here? So I have a connection to... I mean, you're just a you fucking know. cave dweller. How do you know you can't sense anything, right? kind of have a connection to a few people around town. and uh... You know my people use your kind as cattle. You say that, but all I see around here are my kind and none of your kind. You've got a little bit of you've got a little bit of fire and self determination in you, don't you, Jonah? At the end of the day, I've got to be the one in control. Oh. I think it's turned someone on again. <laughs> like through Thomas's perspective, this has all turned someone on. It is a ten. You get a string on Thomas. He stops the car. He just kind of pulls basically off the road into the woods a little bit, down a little slope. And he immediately begins to like start taking his clothes off. I get out and I tell him, look, I know you really want to do this, but I want to go find out what's going on with Sabrina and Tony. You're saying this, he's taking his clothes off. He's down. He just has like a polo shirt on and like his plaid shorts, right? He like kind of slides those down. He's just standing there in his underwear basically, right? And, you know, he's not, as, he's not as muscular as you, but he's, you know, he's fit. He's in good shape, good looking guy. And he steps up to you and he says, he says, Jonah, listen to me. I'm going to give you all the power you could possibly need to take care of all of your enemies, whoever that happens to be, Serena, whatever. 
the special agent, whatever. You just got to give me what I want right now. And I will open my gate, so to speak, for you. And so Jonah uh, pulls his bag off his shoulder, reaches into it, and pulls out the mask. <laughs> nice. Are you like kind of aggressive about it? Like kind of aggressive and like, you know, kind of handsy or how's this go? Or is it more like a mutual thing? I just want to know like what the basic, in terms of like how well, he perceives power dynamics, I think it's important. When Jonah is wearing the mask, he's probably a lot more aggressive. Yeah. That seems to be what we've established. I think you like push him up against a tree and he's like, he's like, he's like, you know where I come from? I'm royalty. And what you just did, putting your hands on me like that, that'd be enough to get you killed. He says, my person is sacred. But but then you kind of see he like kind of smiles and he doesn't give a shit about that, right? And yeah, you guys just go at it. What's your sex move? He joins my clique. <laughs> How interesting. He um, is the condition one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have all the benefits of him being in your gang with him also being your dark power. That's an interesting dynamic. <laughs> <That's> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> he gets strings on you though, right? Like how many strings does your dark power get to start? I'm going to just take one on you for now. So Ellen, you've had the run of Serena's house. You've looked at all this stuff. You've learned a lot about her. You've definitely figured out that like there's something going on, right? What do you do now? I think I'm going to go down to the kitchen and walk sort of to the doorway with a sort of a, a solid voice. I'll say, hello, Mrs. Serena. She looks up and sees you. A very like kind of warm smile spreads over her face. And she says, oh, honey, you're home. And she walks forward like kind of like robotically almost, puts her arms around you as if in an embrace and hugs you tight. I love hugs, so <laughs> I'll, I'll hug her back. Y yes, I'm home. And then she leans back and looks at you and she says, did you have a good day at school today? My parents never asked me that. Yeah, yeah, it was great. There was all kinds of interesting stuff that happened today. And then she goes to the refrigerator and pulls open the refrigerator and pulls out a carafe of blood and says, well, can I get you something to drink? Do we have any cookies? And then she puts the blood back in and closes the thing. She looks at you and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And then she goes and she gets a package of cookies from the from the cabinet and sits them down, lays them out on the table for you. And then she just kind of watches you eat them if you eat them. Well, if she stands there attentively, I'm going to tell her about my day. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> and at different intervals, she'll say, that's very interesting. Wow, it sounds like you had a very exciting day. It, it does. And, and, and so then, then uh, he like uh, made her bleed out of the eyes. And, and I don't know why <laughs> that was happening. I know. Oh, oh, and then I got to, and I was on top of the lockers and I watched him and it did the axe body wash. That was, that was pretty cool too. How fascinating. Eventually, probably towards the end of this, I realize maybe just how absolutely artificial it is. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it takes a while. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh. Well, I have to get dinner ready now. And she turns and she pulls out like a, a cutting board and it pulls out a big, big like chef's knife, you know? And then she begins like chopping something that's not there. She's like, tuk, 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 tuk. and then she like slices her thumb and there's just like a big gash of blood all over the cutting board. What do you do? She uh, doesn't cry out. I'll go to the bathroom and get bandages. That's where you keep bandages, right? Band-Aids? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, keep, I'll, keep your cool. Keep your cool. It's okay, because this is a little freaking me out now. She sliced her finger and didn't even respond. Like, it was nothing. This stopped being fun a little while ago, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's an eight. You do keep your cool, and you find what you're looking for, and she still thinks that you're Serena or whatever her, whatever she's supposed to believe, right, when you come back bandages. Now, give, um, give me your hand. Give me your hand here. 
she's like, oh, you can take care of that. And then she like just jams her thumb up by your mouth. Like okay. jams it up by your mouth and like smears blood on your on your mouth. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> get the band-aid thing on here. I'm now there's a moment where I'm like, I was like, oh, and then Serena come home and it'll be really and now I'm like, oh God, Serena's gonna come home. That, that's, not, that's, actually clear. that's not a cool thing anymore. And uh, so yeah. I want to wrap that up. Um, and I want to get out of here now. I want to leave. Okay. I want to get out of this house. Do a runaway. I think this oh, is getting... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, roll volatile. <laughs> okay. So, oh, an 11 minus 1 is a 10. Nice. You get away to a safe place. Okay, cool. Uh, where do you go? I probably run just far enough away, like I'm across the street and hiding behind a tree. <laughs> nice. And, good, good. and probably that's where I am now. Awesome. I want to cut to Serena before I go out to Margo. You're with Tony, who's freaking out, but who's still like really interested in what's going on. You know, he's got that tension of like, I'm freaking out, but I also can't look look away. And you see that there's like clearly like bite marks on the neck. Like it's almost like too obvious, right? It doesn't even make right. any sense for how. Like, it's very much like the the bite marks on Kyle. I think it was right. Yeah. Kyle had the same bite marks, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like pull Tony back because, like, I imagine like him still like leaning over and like taking pictures and doing things like that. Like maybe like grab him by like, the shoulder or the waist or whatever and pull him back. Look, this is enough. We should get out of here. We should go tell somebody. Like we've already like interfered with this thing more than we should. Let's just let's just go. Let's let's let special agent whatever his mug look at this and and they can do something about it. I think he's like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I mean, uh, are we going to go tell the cops right now or what? I mean, yeah, I mean, we that's what we should do, right? Is we should tell the yeah, cops yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Why would anybody want to kill her? Gosh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. She seems so nondescript. I mean, why would anybody want to kill Norma or why would Kyle? Like, everybody seemed to like Kyle. Who knows why these people kill these people? Did you see those marks on her neck? What marks? I didn't see a, any marks on her neck. She uh, had like she had like look, and he takes the pictures out. He's got pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yeah. Look, there, she's there's got, like, puncture marks on her neck. Yeah, that does look kind of strange. Didn't one of uh, didn't one cool. of the other victims have it? Uh, yeah, keep, yeah. Keep it cool. <laughs> hey, I got a ten. All right, so I think I still have that question from before. So I think what I'm question is. Like, it's weird because what I think would be more interesting is as we go back, like just story-wise, is if both of us, while we're trying to tell somebody, we run into Ellen because then, like, we don't want to tell the cops that we found this thing. But we have <laughs> right, yeah. It's, you, definitely, well, you, you would definitely have a lot. It would, it would definitely be a super awkward scene, right? How I can figure out where we would meet up with Ellen before we would get the cops here. Do you believe Ellen's actually dead now or do you suspect something different i think there might be something that's weird with ellen mm. but i don't know what it is i think i can figure out that the body is not exactly fresh seeing as i've probably seen lots of dead bodies as a vampire that like she looked more decayed than she should for seeing her this afternoon well so we can just spend one of the questions to say like oh, okay you definitely know it's not actually her right like, right maybe tony doesn't realize that but you realize it's yeah, not yeah. her like or at the very least it's not what it appears to be right it's not what it appears especially to be. because like the bite marks like that like there's lots of reasons yeah, why yeah. between the bite marks and the body looking more decayed than it should like there's no you just saw ellen two hours ago margo <sighs> okay well so the time is approaching what do you do margo all right so let my dad head off to the double Q. I want to walk by the double Q and just see if I can see if he's in there with anyone while I'm on my way out to the park there on the edge of the forest. Weirdly enough, you see Sarah. She actually went to work today. She's got like a scarf tied around her neck, right? But she's there. We know she works there. And your dad's there eating a hamburger, like I said, it was going to be. Oh, so he's solo? He's solo. He's by himself. Okay, then I'm just going to keep walking on out to the park, okay. wait for Chad to show up if Chad actually has the balls to do that. 
do you want to run into another character at this point? This seems like there might be a good like opportunity to yeah, run into one of either be. either the the Tony Serena combo. Maybe you go, you cut across in front of Serena's house and see Ellen hiding behind a tree, or maybe you walk into Thomas and Thomas and Jonah doing their thing. I would like to bump into Ellen. Yeah, you see Ellen hiding behind a tree. <laughs> what do you do? She's clearly hey. like hiding from something. Right, and she still has some blood smeared across her face unless she cleaned it up from when the mom stuck the thumb up there. <laughs> right, but yeah. Ellen, are are you okay? Someone hit you? you? You got some blood there on your lip? Oh, how are you doing? I'm okay. I'm this little You all right though? Isn't that where Serena lives? Is it? I will say, Margo, that because you're in proximity to Serena's house and your advanced senses, I think you're going to smell like the grave dirt, but maybe that'll trigger a memory that you have about Ellen being buried in the forest, right? Right. You've seen that, right? I saw her dad. I think that's in the mix here. That was pretty weird today, huh? In class? Yeah, don't like him. He's bad He's a pretty big guy, yeah. He's bad. He makes you do stuff you don't want to do. Steer clear of him. Is, is, is that why he's after Jonah? I think he's after everyone. Just a point of order. I don't think Big Man actually cares about Jonah that much. We haven't really established any concern of Jonah with Big Man. Oh, but, but I saw I saw him taunting Jonah in the, I think he was just in in the, the shower. I think he was just in the locker room being a creep. Oh, yeah. No, but that's, that's, <laughs> oh, that's oh, my that's read. Good. That's yeah, yeah, my yeah, read yeah. on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. In character, I do that. But I just, I just want to make it clear oh, yeah. out of character that, like, I don't think Big Man actually has it. Yeah, sorry, I just want to clarify that. So, okay. so did you see that weird stuff in the classroom? That he Which was... part? Well, after I left, I was looking inside, and you guys all from the outside look like you're having a great time. And then I went back in, and there's, like, Sarah bleeding from her eyes and Serena doing stuff. And, and you were assaulted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was part of that. It was really neat. Like he got like the special kids, cool kids, uh, you know, special kids, and oh, and that that weird Tom Thomas Tommy guy. He was all, he was strange. Yeah, he's a creep too. So you're sure you're okay? You seem a little off. Nah, no, no, no. It's all, yeah, no, yes, no, no. So, so what are you up to? Where are you going? I'm going out to the woods. Do you wanna? Come along. I'm meeting some people. It might oh, be yeah, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I like the woods. The woods is cool. Yeah, yeah. You do like the woods, huh? You don't think they're creepy or... You oh, know, you know, most no, people no, yeah, are yeah, creeped out about the woods. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're creepy. All right. Well... Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, um, yeah I, could, I could go with your you. Your folks okay with that? Do you need to let them know? I don't need to tell them anything. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to be... Meeting a couple of people. I'll just warn you, Chad might be out there. Ooh. So, yeah, yeah, he's a douche, but what are you going to do? Hot body, though, right? Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd like that the line as we walk away is I go, so have you met Serena's parents? So it's after the deal, Jonah. You guys are both like sitting on the ground, like leaning up against trees or whatever. And he turns to you and says, where I come from, it's normal for my lovers to express their gratitude with shows of worship and obeisance. I begin drawing in the dirt. At first it looks like a pattern, but as I'm tracing it, the swirls and stuff, as the camera zooms out, you see that it starts to, to form like this representation of some kind of figure in the dirt when you were having sex with thomas i think he's the first like supernatural being you've ever had sex with and so i'm curious particularly him being a dark fae how was how did that make it different it had like a sensory effect so while we were going at it i think that all the the green foliage around started like glowing mm -hmm. but then there was like these purple veins inside of inside of everything mm -hmm. And it was almost like it was throbbing. I, I like to think that somewhere distant, there was some kind of presence that I, I became aware of. 
mm. like something pulling just a little bit way deep in the forest. Nice. So you're drawing this figure. What's the figure you're drawing? What's the out of character? What are we supposed to believe it? It's him, but it's very, it's like stylized because I'm using like swirls and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what kind of reaction are you trying to get out of him right now? I'm trying to get approval, I think. Mm. But also I think I'm trying to get like some degree of respect because I'm going along with this cult mentality that I have where we like do the swirls on ourselves and I'm kind of, I'm kind of manifesting that here. And he looks at that and he says, is that supposed to be me? Not as you are right now. What does that mean? Well, I know you're not from here. This is you where you're actually from. This is you from place. He looks at it. He leans over and looking at it and he says, I think you should probably take an art class next semester. I smear it. <laughs> Just like wipe it. It's like, that looks even better. Jonah, look, I know you think that you're out here doing wild things in the woods with you and your boys. I know you think that you're out here, you know, getting in touch with nature and, and mastering the elements and the spirits or whatever the fuck. I'm here to tell you that you are a fucking cave dweller and it's never going to happen. The most you'll ever be able to manage is just a crude, vague sense of ritual. No real power. I, on the other hand, have real power. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm just saying, if you really, really want control over people, if you really, really want to explore the limits of human consciousness and ability, if you really want to wield magic, all you got to do is just keep doing as I tell you when I tell you. And it's all yours. No need to drag then, your friends out here under the pretext of some sort of holy natural right. Just come straight to the faucet and have a drink. I stand up and I I kind of look down at him and I'm like, this forest will be my kingdom and <sighs> they will be my throne. <laughs> Okay, he says. <laughs> Why don't I take you home now? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use bot loyalty. I want to give Rody and Tony a string to tempt them to come to me right now. For what purpose? What are you going to try to get them to do? To kind of assert myself to Thomas a little bit, <laughs> like that I am like serious and that I have power. <laughs> I'm into that. Let me mark strings for them. Uh, I think Rody will come. Tony's not going to come. Okay. Unless he has to per the move. It's a tempt. I guess you can give a cost to it. Let's see. You can give a side. Let me tell you what sort of bribes are it'll take to get the character. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Got it. I think you can send out like vibes into the world and, and Rody will come no matter what. But I think for Tony, I think you have to actually like go get him. He's so distracted right now. If you if you want to like you know have this scene somewhere else, go get Tony from where he's at. Then fine. I'll I'll just stay with Rody. But I like to think that like maybe like Tony swerves on the road a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Serena, you're with Tony. Yeah, I want to figure out a way to go meet up with people. Probably Ellen, I think, is the most interesting person. I think probably so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I want to figure out a way that that could happen. Have you spent your last Google No, I haven't. So, or how can Serena get to Tony to leave here without like telling the cops immediately? Or do you just want to find Ellen? Is that like kind of the main thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like from a player perspective, I think it would just be fun to run into Ellen and whoever she happens to be with right now. Maybe the abyss will bring okay. you guys together. I think that's possible. Yeah, like so, we maybe roll plus roll plus dark with your plus one forward. See how that goes. And right, what this is be just kind of a custom move. The fly. Okay. 10 plus you find her, 7 and 9 you find her, but there's an issue. Uh, or 6 minus I could run into somebody else. Because... <laughs> <laughs> is that what you got? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> did you guys walk? Did you guys walk or you weren't driving? Yeah, I think we were just walk. walking. Mm -hmm. You're going to just run into Rody. Rody sees Tony. He's like, oh, hey, are you going to go see Jonah too? And Tony's like, 
Oh, uh, no, I decided not to. Yeah, I, I kind of look at Tony. I have that, like, moment where you see someone's faces. I'm, like, trying to think back of, like, all those, like, no, he, he didn't get a call. He didn't get a text message. Like, when did he get this thing that he was supposed to And then I, like, look at Rhodey, and uh, I, I kind of look at him. And say, Are you going out here like because i'm assuming we're like going the opposite directions right, maybe yeah, yeah. On, on the path and so i'm like jonah's out here in in the forest he's like uh yeah right back this direction and like i'm like conspicuously like pointing at the dead body that we just had <laughs> <laughs> i think <laughs> in, the, in the general vicinity yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. in that direction but like yeah. back that way right it's like yeah, uh, yeah okay yeah i don't know um and I, then I think i look at tony i'm like does Jonah have anything to do with that thing that we just found? Rhodey's like, I don't know what's going on, but Tony, we should probably go. And Tony's like, yeah, yeah, Serene, I think we should probably go. Look, maybe maybe you go tell the cops what's going on? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on later. Maybe, maybe we should just You're going to follow them, though, right? I mean. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally going to follow them. <laughs> What I say, if he's anything, like, yeah, you not. can tell he's totally like whatever he was feeling about about the body you guys found. It, it just like has fallen away. I sort of just like wave to him because like we're in this weird, awkward situation, and like continue like walking towards the way I was going. But then like as soon as like I get around a bend or they get far enough, I like turn back around and start following.